Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and yes, we do have an American Lock 1100 series padlock here, but it's not your ordinary 1100 series American Lock padlock. Although, frankly, that would be enough. It's one of my favorite all time locks to pick because of its excellent um, driver pins, which we can actually see some of there with its, the serrations, the serrated spools. Beautiful lock to pick, full stop. This is actually the Cutaway American Lock series 1100 padlock from Covert Instruments. Now, full disclosure, well, my disclosure is I actually bought this with my own money for once. I didn't reach out to Covert Instruments. I wanted to do a fully independent review um, and I bought this and the Covert Companion, which I'll do a review on at a later date. As you can see, it's an aluminium bodied American lock and it works. I have opened it um, with the key before. That's really about the limits of it. So you can see that this is a five pin key. You can see that uh, like a lot of American locks, unless they're modified, they have six chambers, but they're pinned to five. This is completely normal for American locks. That's how they come. Um, you can get pinning kits, uh, or I think you might even be able to get them uh, pinned for you up to six pins from uh, various suppliers as well. But yeah, you can see the internal workings here as you put the key in, you can see that those driver pins lift up in relation to that key bitting. So just pop that in, hopefully you can see, there goes the driver pins. You can see the serrations on the key pins as they're overlifted by the higher cuts on the key. And then once the key's inserted all the way, you can see that those driver pins are at the shear line. You can see the shear line there and as I turn it forwards, you'll be able to see the tops of those key pins in the cutaways along the um, core here. Uh, so you see the drive pins in the Bible and the springs. And as I turn it, you'll see that the actuator here with its grooves will allow those two ball bearings to drop into the grooves on either side and the spring on the shackle forces the uh, shackle past those ball bearings which are attracted into those cutouts on the actuator and allows the lock to open. Very, very nice. Um, this is on sale at the moment at the time of uh, recording this video on Covert Instruments website at $80, which is around £61. And uh, yeah, that makes it one of the uh, cheaper American lock cutaways that are properly, you know, and precision CNC milled out there at the moment. Um, there are possibly more detailed ones on the market, but they are often a little bit more expensive. So I think for what it is and compared to its competitors, it's actually very well priced, um, at least at the sale price of $80. Why would you want one of these? Well, I think that if you were just looking for a, a, a lock to practice on, I probably wouldn't suggest spending all that money for a cutaway version. However, I would say that this makes a wonderful display piece. And if you really wanted to practice um, the American lock, uh, because picking it can be tricky with its all, all with its serrated pins and things, a cutaway version of it can be really, really nice um, to, so you can, um, you know, start picking it in hand and if you go wrong you can just take a little little peek and see where you might be going wrong that can be very useful too so it can be a really good training aid a good demonstration aid as well it's good to show people uh, how you lift pins what overset pins look like um, how you would pick serrated pins how a spool pin would engage all those kind of things so these locks are very good tuition aids uh, they're, they're very good at uh, helping you learn to pick these locks although Again, at that price, picking locks does take a toll on the lock itself, and by handling, you're more prone to, you know, damage to nice anodizing or coloration on there. Um, so I, I think that for its price, I like to keep it as a demo slash uh, uh, display type lock because I love cutaways, and I know a lot of you out there do love them. But I think if you, you know, had uh, $80 and you're a new picker, I wouldn't necessarily, unless you just wanted a display piece, recommend going for a cutaway lock um, of this quality uh, just for learning off. I think that, um, you know, it's 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 a lot of money for 
just learning. It's not a lot of money for what it is, but it is a lot of money for somebody who's just wanted to you know, learn some lock picking. And this is actually quite a difficult lock. So learning straight off an American Lock 1100 probably won't be a good idea anyway. On their website, um, it does say that don't mistake this lock for uh, cheaper versions. You can pick up these sorts of cutaways for around 15 to 20 dollars um, under 15 pounds uh, and th again they actually serve a good purpose they're, they're horrible to pick because um, of the rounded driver pins they, they pick almost instantly but again it's a good demonstration lock I wouldn't necessarily display it it's a bit ugly um, the mechanism is a bit crunchy um, which is what you'd expect from a, a cheap lock uh, again you know it's a good alternative if you just want to see the internals of a lock but um, it's yeah, it's, it's it's what you it's exactly what you'd expect for the money. Let's put it that way. Any criticisms? Um, I can't think of many criticisms. The only thing that I would say would be an improvement, which I'd like to see, is since you've got these cuts here, so that's in the Bible, and you get these cuts here go onto where the uh, core or plug is on the inside, which you can see here. The only time you can see the key pins is when you unlock it and you can see the tops of those key pins just like that. It would be nice, I think, if maybe in a future iteration of this lock, the plug or core was actually cut as well so you could see the key pins in their resting state. I just think that would be a really nice visual aid, especially as a demonstration lock. I think that would really be a bonus. Anyway, enough waffling on. Wouldn't it be nice to just see this picked? I think it deserves being picked since I've got a lot pick in my hand. Um, let me just go find a tension tool and I'll be back in a second. So I was gonna pick this in hand. So I'm going to use this curved tension tool. I know covert instruments do do their own ergonomic uh, tension tools. I don't have one of those. Uh, I might get some in the future, but we're just gonna go in and I just love these locks. Anything that feels like it's binding, I just give it a little push. You'll be able to hear those uh, clicks. I don't know if you saw that the core just move a little bit there when I when I did that. Um, I feel now that's pin two and one. I can feel pin um, five that was just binding there. And that was four. Three doesn't want to go two, one, okay, back to the back then, back onto five, another click, oh, probably overset the five a little bit there, just let it drop down, anything on four, yeah, into, oh, I thought it was a false set, but we've got an open instead, there we go, really, really good fun to pick this one, um, I'm used to picking these American locks, uh, it's just that I just find them the most fun of all picks, so, that one was no different. So there you go, that's the Covert Instruments American Lock 1100 series cutaway. I actually really like it. Um, I spent my own good money on this, so I'll definitely tell you if I was disappointed. But it's actually, I think, at the sale price at the moment for $80. Um, very well priced for the type of thing that it is. But I'd like to know what you think about it. What do you think to the lock choice, the cutaways, the aesthetics in general, the price, the build quality, all that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments if you have one of these and your experience of it. I think that would be really interesting. I do read all the comments and I reply to as many as I can. Um, drop this video a, a like if you can as well. It really helps my channel out, as does subscribing, so you can see all my new content. It'd be brilliant if you could do that. And of course, I'll see you all next time.